Welcome your friends. I am glad you are interested in learning. I promise you the time you invest will be really helpful for you. So without any delay let's get started. So from the title this video is the first in the series and in this video we will be learning the overview of the application. You may have heard from your friends and colleagues that Katia is difficult to learn. Let's destroy this understanding of yours and just start with this learning sessions so as you can see on the screen we have this icon over here if anyone doesn't have katia installed please if you need any help just post your comments and i will post a guide or i just make a new video how to install katia and activate that and that will solve your problem so to begin with i'll click on this icon i have this p5 r21 I click this and and some of you if you have a slow system this will take some time so just don't go on clicking and clicking so that there are multiple instances of that app open so first screen i'll just maximize this and this is the screen that you see when you first open the application so here i'll just close this so at the top left you can see the name of the application that is Katia v5 and below that we have the menu bar if you want to draw any part or anything first you have to click on the start button and there is a drop down with all the options available that is infrastructure mechanical design shape and many more so begin with we are going to start with mechanical design and inside mechanical design we are going to start with part design so this series i am not going to make this uh, boring sessions and will be doing much more hands on so i hope this will be very interesting for you so to start i am clicking on this part design click on this part design and you will have this pop up open and here you are supposed to enter the name of the part so i'll keep it as part 1 and click on okay so we are in this space now so you can see the part name that we have given there and we, are, we can see this tree so this tree contains the planes and the part body okay and at the center also you can see these planes if you just point to any plane that plane will be highlighted in the tree and you can click here and select that plane and also you can click on this tree to select any plane and at the right side and the bottom you can see there are some tools so these tools we are going to use them in this coming sessions and we'll see the use of them so now we'll start by drawing a cube in this space so to draw a cube you must have a profile that is a square profile in a 2d space and then you can extend that space or sorry then you can extend that 2d profile into the third axis so i want to draw a square in this xy plane and then i will just exclude or i'll just extend that in the third axis and i'll make it is a cube to draw anything you can you cannot draw directly in this 3d space so for that you have a tool but i can't see that here so whenever you don't see any tool what you can do is right click on the toolbar right click go to bottom click on this customize and you will you will get this dialog box here you have this toolbars click on toolbars restore all content click on ok and restore position and click on ok so all the toolbars will be restored and click on close so now you can see we have this toolbars restored to their original position so we have selected this plane xy and i was talking about this tool that is sketch so if i drag this out we'll get this and click on this so after clicking on this we'll land in the 2d space the workbench and here you are supposed to draw the cube so here also what i'll do i'll right click on this and go to customize and here also go to toolbars restore all content 
and restore position so that all the toolbars will be restored okay done so see uh, i have all these tools now this you need to do one time only after that you don't need to do anything okay now what we can do is so now we want to draw a square over here so for that we have a toolbar profile toolbar so <clears throat> in this profile toolbar what i'll do is drag this profile toolbar out and we have all these tools in this so for a square we'll we are going to go into details of each and every tool available here so that we'll do in the later videos so for this introduction video i'm just going to select this rectangle go to the origin and click and drag so i'll see this rectangle and what i'm going to do i'm not going to constrain this means i'm not going to give any dimensions to this and just click on this button that is exit workbench so if i click on this we will land in this 3d space and here we have our profile that is not exactly square but we can just call this as square for the first video okay and then what we are going to do is we are going to extrude this into the third dimension so we uh, we have the sketch best tools toolbar so again we are going to look for all these tools in as we go further so for time being we have this first tool that is pad click on this pad and there you will get a uh, definition box and in this definition box you have all these fields so this is the length for so approximately i'll give 90 as length and click on this preview Oh, 90 is too much so i'll give 60 and 60 is okay 60 and preview and okay so you can see we have formed our cube uh, in the 3d space you can rotate this cube with this tool over here you can rotate in this one plane on this one plane or in this way or you can rotate this with the mouse and i'll share you with the shortcuts for mouse that will be really easy for you you can just zoom in zoom out you can rotate it you can just move it so these are all things we can do with the mouse and also we have the tools over here so you can see we have this rotate if you click on that and just rotate then we have this move click on this and move if you want to zoom in this is zoom in zoom out so this is this way we can just play with this object so we have formed our first cube and a very basic introduction where the tools are and where we have to draw in 2d mode and then we have to move to 3d space and then we have to make it a 3d object so this way we will be going forward and we'll be going into details with the toolbars and what can we do and how easy it is so hope you like this video if you did not like this video mention that in the comments what you did not like and i will definitely try to improve it thanks for watching and let's meet in the next video the later videos will be short videos this one was a big video so sorry for this and hope you enjoyed thanks